tonight on Season Pass. What a week for sports in the Concho Valley. 15 high school football matchups, 10 across the area, and district standings are starting to take shape. Number two, Sterling City battled number one, Westbrook, and eighth ranked Cristobal took on rival El Dorado. Highlights from Larry Mitchell Stadium coming your way. High school volleyball also wrapped up its regular season. Did the Lakeview Maidens sneak into the playoffs? Tune in to find out. All this and more tonight. Season pass starts right now. Season pass is sponsored by Kent Elliott Roofing. Hello and welcome everyone to Season Pass, the highlight show that recaps everything at Concho Valley Sports. I'm your host, Ryan Reynolds, and we have a ton to get to tonight. We have highlights and final scores from 15 high school football games, and with only two games left for most teams, we take a look at district standings and what could lie ahead. We also have highlights from high school volleyball as classes 1A through 4A wrapped up the regular season. But let's go ahead and start on the gridiron with the 6A Central Bobcats. They win on the road to take on Friendship, a team head coach Brent Davis has had a ton of success against in his 12 years at Central. They're 4-0 against the Tigers, and both teams entered the game 1-0 in district play. Bobcats looking for their fifth straight against the Tigers. First quarter, Bobcats running back Samuel Navarrete takes it in from a couple yards out. 7-0 Central. This is only his second varsity game. He's already making an impact for the Bobcats. And here's his presence again. Second quarter, Navarrete with a short touchdown run. 14-0 Bobcats. Tigers offense trying to answer. It's Corbin Gandy deep to Carson Miller. He makes a nice juggling catch for the big gain. And that reception sets up Gandy's pass to Klein Coker, who scores the two-yard touchdown. 14-7 is the score now. Friendship trying to even things at the half. Three seconds left. Gandy to Andrew Braddock, but the Tigers come up empty-handed. Huge stop for Central going into the break as the Bobcats hold the Tigers scoreless in the second half, 35-7. to Central wins. They're 2-0 in district. Bobcats have won 17 straight little Southwest Conference games. Lakeview taking on Andrews. The Chiefs haven't beat the Mustangs since 2002. First Andrews possession in the red zone. Lakeview jumps off size, but it doesn't matter. EJ Lopez finds Jose Bustamante for the leaping touchdown catch. 7-0 Mustangs. Andrews kept it going all quarter up. 21-0 now. Lopez to Sean Parker. That improves the score to 28 to 0. First play of the second quarter. Lakeview just trying to get on the board. Here's Albert Rodriguez rolling out, gets the pass off to Brandon Herrera. Keeps his feet in bounds. That's a touchdown. Lakeview still trailing 28 to 7, though. Andrews responds on the next possession, and they do it easily. Lopez to Anthony Trevino. Nice catch falling backwards, 35 to 7. Andrews led 54 to 14 at the half. They get the win 56 to 27. With that being said, here's the updated District 2-4A Division I standings. The Chiefs still winless in district. They sit in fourth place. They'll face Big Spring next week to close out the regular season. That game will determine the third and fourth seeds. With it being a four-team district, though, everyone will make the playoffs. Over to District 3-3A Division I. TLCA still looking for their first win, hosting number seven, Jim Ned. This one got out of hand early. Rob Young takes the carry, bounces it right. He just smells that end zone. Touchdown, Indians. That makes it 33-0 just in the second quarter. Three plays later, after TLCA fumble, the Indians cash in some more points. Parker pounds it in, 40-0, all Jim Ned. Next possession after that, Troy Dorian in at QB, and he airs it out to Blaine Palmer. That is another touchdown. Jim Ned gets the big win, 75-0 over TLCA. Checking in on the Wall Hawks. They were supposed to face Breckenridge on Friday. However, the Buckaroos are dealing with some COVID-19 issues, so they forfeit. And with that, Wall is given a seven-point victory due to district rules. 
And here's a look at those standings in District 3-3A Division 1. Jim Ned, who we just saw, sits at the top of the perfect 3-0 record. Clyde also sitting at 3-0. What will actually face Clyde on Friday at Bulldog Stadium? That'll be a huge game. Some magic, though, is going to have to happen in order for Wall to claim that elusive 10th straight district title. We'll see what happens down the stretch with only two games left. TLCA is in six right now. We'll travel to fourth place early. Both kickoff times set for 7.30 p.m. District 2-3A Division 2, Sonora welcoming in the undefeated Bangs Dragons. First possession of the game for Bangs, and that is a quick quarterback sneak inside the one-yard line. Ethan Cortez pounding it in, 7-0 Dragons, and they jumped all over the Broncos. Second quarter following a Sonora fumble. This time it's Ethan Sanchez running it in for six. Bangs showing they belong near the top of this district. How about some more touchdowns? Two and a half minutes to go in the first half. Sanchez once again finding his way into the end zone. 20-0 and Bangs remains undefeated. They get the win over Sonora 48-14. Sticking with that district, Brady on the road at Grape Creek. First Bulldogs possession, Hayden Barnett rolling left, looking for a receiver, and he's got one. Parker Leonard wide open, can't get much easier than that. Brady strikes first, 7-0 to zero. into the first quarter. Grape Creek backed up in their end zone. Landon Crow's pass is tipped by two Eagles and eventually picked off by Zeke Jones. What a play by him. Brady trying to capitalize off that turnover. Baroness pass falls incomplete. Grape Creek forces the turnover on downs. The Bulldogs will get another shot on their next possession, though. That is Nora Flores drives in for six. He dives in for that one. They led 14 to zero at that point. They would go on to get their first district win of the season, shutting out Grape Creek. 28 to 0. Taking a look at our high school football scoreboard, Ballinger stomps Ingram Moore 47 to 6 to improve to 7 and 1 overall. And that win sets up a huge showdown in Ballinger next week with undefeated Bangs. That one most likely for the District 2 3A Division 2 title. And then out in 14 2A Division 1, Ozona picks up its fifth straight win 55 to 20 over Harper. The Lions now 6 and 2 overall, 3 and 0 in district play. And they will face this team, Mason, next week on Friday. Mason's game, though, against Brackettville was postponed to November 6th. The punchers, like I said, will travel to Ozona on Friday with extended time to prepare for what could be the District 14-2A Division II title game. Mason has won four straight. Ozona, winners of five straight, should be a fun one at Lions Stadium. Hey, when we return, we check in on districts 14-2A Division II and 8-1A Division I. Cristobal battled El Dorado and number two Sterling City took on number one Westbrook. All that and more when we return. Let me show you how we can turn a 60-second commercial into a 30-second one. Let's get to the point. Right now, get a brand new 2020 Ford F-150 STX. And here's the price. Only $29,988. And here's where you get it. Jim Bass Cars and Trucks, Houston Heart and Arden Road, or 24-7 at BassMunch.com. Hi, I'm Mike with MGB, Mike's Gold Buyers. Gold and silver prices are terrific, which means more money for your gold, silver, and diamonds. Come to MGB and you'll say, I sold gold and I like Mike. On Avenue in by Angelo State. It's Chevy Truck Month. It's Deck Building Month. It's Toy Hauling Month. It's Explore New Ground Month. It's the month to get things done. Make it your own and make every month Chevy Truck Month. Get a total value of $6,000 on this 2020 Silverado Texas Edition. Plus, now during Truck Month, get a $1,000 accessory allowance towards the purchase of eligible accessories. Chevy drives Texas. Find new roads. Hi, I'm Dr. Victor Schultze of North Bentwood Veterinary Hospital and Boarding. We are a family-run business located in the Bentwood area. We are always happy to give a tour of our facility. You can reach us on our Facebook page or give us a call. Sierra lineup ever. Step up to GMC and get 7,000 purchase cash on this 2020 Sierra Light Duty Crew Cab Texas Edition. 
That's an MSRP under 46,000. Visit Mitchell Buick GMC in San Angelo. Welcome back to season pass. Cristobal versus El Dorado. The rivalry is real between these two teams. In 2018, they were involved in a three-way tie atop the district. And last season, El Dorado beat Cristobal for the outright district championship. But it's a new year, and both the Eagles and Cougars want to be the only team sitting in first place atop District 14 to a Division II. So let's get to the highlights. Larry Mitchell Stadium, the site for this one. Cristobal on the road at El Dorado. Opening drive for El Dorado. Corbin Cavarubias back to pass. Floats it to James Kimball, and he outruns the Cougars' defense. No one's going to tackle and takes it to the house. Eagles on board first, 7 to 0. Later in the quarter, though, Cristobal trying to score here. And, well, when you have a player with a talent like Braden Wilcox, it's going to eventually happen. Low snap, it doesn't matter. Appleton Salinas in the end zone. That is a Cristobal touchdown. Two-point conversion, no good. 7-6, to six, Eagles still lead. Early second quarter, Cougars threatening again, and there's the human highlight reel. Wilcox looking for his man, decides to keep it in for the score. Man, he's so fast. Two-point conversion, good. Cristobal takes a 14-7 lead, and the Cougars... They come out on top easily, 43 to 20, the final score. A windy night in junction as the Eagles battle Rock Springs first quarter. Bo Hernandez takes the handoff and he's off to the races. Finishes off the run with a stiff arm into the end zone. Look at him go. Get off me. 8 to 0 Rock Springs after the two-point conversion. The Eagles often struggled in this one. Chance Kondarko goes deep, connects with his receiver, who takes it all the way for the first in goal, but the drive would stall. Rock Springs defense, they're going to force a turnover on downs. The Angoras rebound from last week's loss to El Dorado. They beat Junction 24-16. to Miles picked up its first district win, beating Menard on the road 57 to 20. It was also the most points scored by the Bulldogs all season. Miles will head to Rock Springs on Friday, while Menard will travel to El Dorado. The complete overlook of District 14 2A Division 2, it looks extremely promising for the Cristobal Cougars. They sit in the driver's seat atop the district after beating El Dorado. The Cougars have Junction and Miles left on their schedule. The rest of the playoff spots, though, are really up for grabs. El Dorado, Junction, Miles, and Rock Springs all in the mix. Junction has the toughest road ahead, though. They close out the season at Cristobal and then at home against El Dorado. Turning our attention to the beautiful six-man football world, we have number two Sterling City taking on number one Westbrook. And look at this. Westbrook, they're going to score on their opening drive. They take the lead 8-0 to zero after that. And then Sterling City is going to come back and strike. It's Hudson Cox just heaving it up to Damian Calderon, a KLST top five play nominee. And then later in the quarter, they're just going to keep pouring it on. Sterling City is. Here's Cross Middle. He's going to get some open space. Some key blocks, actually, is going to propel Middle into the end zone. That makes it 16-8 Sterling City, and they go on to win 38-28. to I'm super proud of them, man. They fought hard the whole night. I mean, it was a tough physical game, and, you know, I think, you know, I think from the, our schedule that we played so far this year, I think that's really... Uh, one of the things that we've gotten better at is, is physicality. I know, you know, we're really fast. Uh, our backs and, and our linemen block really well and, and stuff like that. But just the physicality of the game has gotten better through the tougher schedule. And I think that's really going to help us out going forward. How about some Wednesday night action? Gotta love 2020 high school football, am I right? Robert Lee, though, probably doesn't love this score. They get blanked by Highland 46-0. The Steers are now 2-5 and five overall, 1-1 one and one in district, and will host likely number two Westbrook on Friday. Which brings us to the District 8-1A Division 1 standings after Sterling City's win over Westbrook. I really think you can flip-flop those rankings on Monday. I think the Eagles will move up to number one and the Wildcats will drop to number two. Sterling City, they haven't won a district title since 2015. Like Cristoval, they're in the driver's seat now atop this district. Bront hosts Highland tomorrow, actually. Monday night football again, 2020. Am I right? Kickoff time set for 7:30 at Stevenson Stadium. 
and a little happy dance. Mm-hmm. 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 Get it. Mm-hmm. Get it. Mm-hmm. Garlic butter bacon burger. Garlic mm-hmm. butter bacon burger. Mm-hmm. Junior garlic butter bacon burger. Junior garlic butter bacon burger. Get it. Mm-hmm. Get it. Hey, there's no need to fast forward. Let me do that for you. Let's just make this simple. Right now, you can get a brand new 2020 Ford Explorer. And here's the price. Only $26,988. And here's where you get it. Jim Bass Cars and Trucks, Houston Hart and Arden Road, or 24-7 at BassMunch.com. Experience, service, and satisfaction. Deerski and Deerski Realtors can answer any real estate questions you may have. Whether it's buying or selling property, Deerski and Deerski has the answers. Contact us directly or go to the Conchavelli homepage and click on our Experts tab. Lone Star Market Warehouse in Ballinger will be open October 30th and 31st. Vintage, handmade, home decor, furniture, and boutique. $6 for adults, children under 6 free. For more information, go to facebook.com forward slash Lone Star Market Warehouse. Introducing the most capable Sierra lineup ever. Step up to GMC and get 7,000 purchase cash on this 2020 Sierra Light Duty Crew Cab Texas Edition. That's an MSRP under 46,000. We are professional grade GMC. Nothing can, can beat this. Not even a pillowcase filled with candy? No. This is a it's, pillowcase filled with candy. It except it's a cup filled with candy. The Trick or Treat Blast. That's so good. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to Season Pass. There was a big-time game in District 14-1A Division 1. Entering the season, Eden was the favorites to win that district, but Water Valley has made a strong push to prove doubters wrong and claim their first district title in three years. On Friday, they two, the two met in a game that could heavily impact the district standings. But something's got to give. Let's just see what happens. Let's let the highlights speak for themselves. First quarter, Water Valley's first possession. Cannon Weiss. Gets the delayed handoff, finds a hole right up the middle. No one's going to catch him. Wildcat strike first, 8-0. to zero. Next Water Valley possession after forcing a turnover on downs. Guess who? Weiss again hits the truck stick at the goal line. Two all-district players going at it. And just like that, it's 16-0. to zero. Still in the first quarter, Weiss going for that hat trick. Gets the toss, bounces it outside. Jukes out of bounds. He scored the first three touchdowns of the game as Water Valley continues to look dominant. They get a 52-6 to six mercy rule win over Eden. Paint Rock on the road at very best. The Indians have played zero home games this season due to field construction. First quarter, Connor Barnes pitches to Marcus Ojeda. He weaves his way through the Indian defense for the game's first score. Eight to zero, very best. And that's not the last you'll hear from that young man. Same quarter, same score. Bo Dunn had a deep catch to set things up for the Falcons. Ojeda punches it in for an even easier score. 16 to 0, very best on top. Paint Rock's offense found life with the big man, though. Brandon Bell takes the handoff, gets the sideline, and he sprints his way in for six. Paint Rock on the board, but the Falcons were just too much. Into the first, Wise gets a hat trick for his. Oh, we got the hat trick. Why can't Ojeda? His third score of the game. This one through the air, though. Very best wouldn't allow another Indian score. As the Falcons win it via mercy rule, 62 to 6. And with that, Water Valley, they have their first district title since 2017. Their first under head coach Nathan Hayes. Wildcats were picked by Texas football to finish third and miss the playoffs in that district. Instead, they'll finish at the top with the number one seed. As for the rest, only two teams make the playoffs in this district, and it just so happens that the number two and number three teams play each other in two weeks. Most likely for that final elusive playoff spot, Erion County and Eden will meet on November 6th. Coming up on Season Pass, we head indoors to the high school volleyball court. Do the Lakeview Maidens sneak into the playoffs? We have the highlights, all that and more after the break. Let me show you how we can turn a 60-second commercial into a 30-second one. 
Let's get to the point. Right now, get a brand new 2020 Ford F-150 STX. And here's the price. Only $29,988. And here's where you get it. Jim Bass Cars and Trucks, Houston Heart and Harden Road, or 24-7 at BassMunch.com. As employers, we all face the same goal, hiring the right person. But what if they are right on paper or in an interview, but wrong because they are not physically or mentally fit to perform the duties for which they are hired? That is exactly where Employer Services at West Texas Rehabilitation Center comes in. Sure, we do the standard drug and alcohol testing, but we also offer a program called Work Steps, a program that allows us to gather baseline functional data in the event an injury ever occurs. This helps to lessen the cost to employers simply by requiring the employee recover to the level at which they were hired. With locations in San Angelo, Abilene, and Ozona, we offer regular hours as well as after-hours assistance for post-accidents and reasonable suspicion. West Texas Rehab is your first and last stop for all your occupational health needs. So for more information, be sure and visit us at westtexasrehab.org. Your legacy lives on. The original Henry Steiner. Winning back. Welcome back to Season Pass. Winning every game in a season is tough, but this year, the very best Lady Falcons are showing they can accomplish anything they put their mind to, even perfection. Winning every game is tough, and so is reading a teleprompter. Can the Lady Falcons put the finishing touches on a perfect regular season? That's what matters. Second set, Lady Falcons in front early. The Abbott give and go. Olivia to Haley for the set. That was Olivia Abbott with the kill. Miles would keep pace early in the second. Ali Kalina sets up Jessica Hens, who places it in the front corner for the kill. Very best would pull away to take the second set. Third set. Is the Abbott connection again? Olivia over to Haley. She finishes off the kill and very best. They finish off Miles in straight sets as the Lady Falcons finish the regular season 17 and 0, 14 and 0 in District 7 2A. Cornerstone Christian looking to make it seven wins in a row, hosting Living Rock Bull Verde. And talk about dominant. First set, this was just the Lady Lions match. Piper Bowden assists Riley Clements, drops it in there for the Cornerstone point. Later, it's Piper again setting up a teammate, and this is Hannah Robinson with the delayed tap over the net. Lady Lions win the first set 25-8, to eight, and the second set was more of the same. Here's how it ends. Sarah Whitehead to Clements, point cornerstone. was flash forward to the third set. Lady Lions opened with 20 straight points. Like I said, dominant in this match. Brianna Casey getting the point there. Cornerstone Christian, they take care of business. They win the match in straight sets to improve to 7-1 overall, 4-0 in Taps District 6-1A. Lakeview Maidens had one thing on their mind, and that was getting past Snyder. A win and you're in. Here we go. Can they do it? They started off pretty strong. They get the point there. Here's Brandy Coward. Actually, that's Kenley Jackson going to go ahead and hit it over there. Here now is Brandy Coward. She's going to hit it over not once, but twice. Snyder with a good reset. They would hit it out of bounds. The Maidens would win the second set 25 to 22. Lakeview started out strong in the third set, but Snyder quickly came back. And then some Maya Brazil with the big kill that gets by Lakeview. The Lady Tigers win the third set 25 to 17 and the match 3 to 1. There's still hope at making the playoffs, though. Lakeview fans, don't worry. The Maidens will face Leveland on Tuesday in a play-in match for the fourth seed in District 3-4A. The winner of that will meet Hereford in the bye district round. That play-in game will be in Colorado City at 4 p.m. A positive sign for Lakeview in this match. They're 2-0 against Leveland this season. Coming up next on Season Pass, we jump to Plays of the Week and our Player of the Week. Don't go away.
qualified buyers get 0% APR financing for 60 months on a new 2021 Tundra Special Edition. Toyota, let's go places. Ready to learn something new? Ready to get recertified or get certified in a new career? Howard College Continuing Education Program is ready for you. With over 600 online courses available, you can take classes for personal, physical, and professional needs all without leaving your home. There are no ends to the availability offered by the Howard College Continuing Education Online Training. Look and see what we have for you. Your time starts now. During the Today's the Day sales event, get $2,000 customer cash on a new 2020 Highlander Hybrid. Toyota, let's go places. Welcome back to Season Pass. It's time to reveal our top five plays in the Concho Valley. And folks, these are no joke. Really, really good stuff here. Let's check them out. Starting with high school volleyball, Cornerstone Christian taking on Bo Verde. This is just a nice looking play. Hannah Robinson with the delayed tap. Gotta love the trickery. Great play by Robinson to drop it in for the point. Lady Lions remain perfect. They sweep Bill Verde. Number four, Cristobal taking on rival El Dorado. The Cougars without their starting center, no problem. The human highlight reel, Braden Wilcox improvises and tosses a touchdown to Appleton Salinas. Really doesn't get much better than that. One of Wilcox's five total touchdowns. Cristobal beats El Dorado 43 to 20. How about some Angelo State football for number three? Rams on the road at West Texas A&M. And Alfred Greer looking like Muhammad Ali in his prime. Taking hits, floating like a butterfly, stinging like a bee. Dives into the end zone. He had 138 yards and two touchdowns. However, ASU would fall 34-27. Number two, second ranked. Sterling City taking on top-ranked Westbrook. Check out this pitch and catch. Hudson Cox unloads a bomb to Damian Calderon. How about that snag? Sterling City runs away with it. 38-28 over Westbrook. And that brings us to our top play. Brady versus Great Creek. The Bulldogs fighting for a playoff spot. Landon Crow's pass is tipped not once, but twice. And are you serious, Zeke Jones? The diving interception off two deflections. He gets it right before it hits the ground. Go ahead and take a screenshot of that. What a play by Zeke Jones. And uh, Brady, they're still in it in District 2-3A, Division 2. And congrats to Cristobal quarterback, the human highlight reel, like I mentioned throughout the show. Braden Wilcox, he's this week's player of the week after helping the Cougars to a 43-20 win over El Dorado. Wilcox completed 55% of his passes for 187 yards and three touchdowns, but he also did some damage with his legs, running the ball 15 times for 236 yards and two more scores. The senior accounted for 423 of his team's 545 total yards. If you think that's insane. Wilcox is actually responsible for 74% of Cristobal's total yards this season. What an athlete. Braden Wilcox, your KLST Player of the Week. Player of the Week is sponsored by Southwest Pools and Spots. That pretty much wraps up this episode of Season Pass. Thank you everyone for tuning in. We'll be back next Sunday. Have a good night. Captioning for the hearing impaired is sponsored by the Law Office of Rick DeHoyas.